are currently looking at some satellite imagery of our latest tropical storm, Abafo, moving off here towards the west, way out here in the western Pacific. You can see at 155 degrees east, a few outlying islands here. Not many people are on these, actually, a uh, rate right around three to 400 people per island, so exceptionally small. Uh, the Guam National Weather Service off here towards the northeast has put a tropical storm warning on both of these islands, though, as the storm continues to move off here. And at this time, the Japan Meteorological Agency is holding it as a weak tropical storm. About winds 35 knots, so just barely at the threshold there for the storm to be called that. But as you can see here with the enhanced uh, infrared imagery, it has a lot of convection it's sitting over top of sea surface temperatures right around 28 to 33 degrees so lots of heat there vertical wind shear is down if we pull up the wind shear chart off towards the north you see some and that's why we have these shear lines peeling off here towards the north but towards the south well it's right around the equator and there's not much there to speak of on top of that vorticity is at hand and it does look like conditions are going to be continuing uh, to be rather right for further development of the storm system. So with that said, the Japan Meteorological Agency expects it to gradually intensify to a severe tropical storm here going into the 30s. And eventually on the 2nd, they don't put the intensity out that far. But I would not myself be very surprised at all if it becomes a typhoon or even a fairly strong typhoon as it approaches Yap and Palau here. And that is one reason why uh, our videographer James Reynolds is actually looking at flights out here at this time. So stay tuned to that. Go to check out his channel. You may have some videos uploading on these particular areas going into the week. Now one thing is for sure at the very least now is like, unlike yesterday is that I do expect the storm to remain towards the south. A few outlying miles were kind of peeling it off here towards the north and eventually recurving yesterday i was really against this scenario as well but today it's definitely going to be holding in place you have a high pressure really just sitting here the overall background flow here from the streamline analysis just indicates this exact scenario with that high pressure sitting right overhead here over the philippines that whole ridge extending out over the Mariana. So Guam, I think that you're actually going to be spared from this storm system as well. Definitely along the southern coast, rip currents, high waves are going to be a major factor. But it looks like it should continue to spin off here towards the south. Yap and Palau really do think that after it passes these few small islands off here towards the east, uh, you're going to be the next landmass that will be impacted directly from the storm system. And unlike yesterday, uh, our trusty GFS model really was not leaning towards what we were thinking here. Well, today it is more so. It looks like it's going to move and develop the storm off there towards the west, move it across Yap and pull out directly possibly as a typhoon or a fairly strong typhoon remember these are very low-lying islands actually here's some photos of Palau a, uh, about two years ago and it really is just a low-lying island very um, touristy but it, it all comes because of the reef there and etc um, there is a few higher places in there but it really um, is used to seeing typhoons uh, that's the good news the bad news is that it is a very small island so a significant storm hitting it directly really could bring some damage across it as the storm system possibly moves across and eventually off there towards the west and then the bigger picture everybody's worrying about here is take a look into the early part of next week across the philippines uh, possibly here into Visayas, Luzon. Honestly, at this time, this far out, I would think that all the Philippines, you need to watch the storm system very, very closely, all the way from Apari, extending clear down there to the southern tip of Mindanao, because it could stay there towards the south, or very well could continue to veer and push off towards the north. But that is all for today on this one, everybody. Uh, don't forget to check out our daily satellite update that we have here every day, or at least we try to put it on there every day. Uh, you can please go to the website, you can check that out. Plus, check out our other video I just uploaded uh, about a significant snowstorm currently occurring across portions of northern Japan. Really uh, heavy white stuff coming down across that area, accompanied by winds up to 150 kilometers per hour. So typhoon strength winds slamming the region uh, from this winter storm. And on top of that, sometime this week, not exactly sure on at the exact time, but it definitely will continue to post it if you follow the Facebook and Twitter page at Western Pacific Weather and also me at Robert Spetta, is that we're going to be doing a live cast, especially on the storm system here into the coming days. Might do several of them because this one does look like it's going to be a, a, a fairly decent threat if it does continue to develop on its current course and heads towards the Philippines. So we're going to have a few people into 
of these live casts, hopefully try to get some analysis and some discussion going on. So stay safe out there, though, everybody. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.